Hello YouTube. Been quite some time since my last tutorial. Um, I might get back to some Brawlax stuff later, but for now I'm, I'm starting a new a new series on some of the other stuff that I've been doing. Mainly the subspace emissary things. I've been working um, to program them into Brawlbox recently, which is why the thread has stopped progressing. But uh, yeah, as I said, this is going to be a new tutorial series that I'm going to do on each of the files and what they do. And before they're implemented in Brawlbox, I'm going to have to show you guys how to hex a few things. But in the future, Brawlbox should be able to edit all the files by themselves. But uh, the first one we're going to get into, let's see, the first Skyworld level that you'll see is right here. After you defeat the Piranha, I believe, PD Piranha, you end up at this level. Hold on, let me use one of those new features that I put in Brawlbox. Let's see, let's see. Maybe? Nope. This should do it. Let's try this one. There we go. Yeah, that, that zoom extends button is just a new thing that I put in that zooms you to one of the uh, the bones you have selected. And I just knew that, that that one was there. So this level is the first Skyworld level that you'll find yourself in after beating PD Piranha, I believe. What we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the little windmill from the... From this level, let's see, let's see, I'll show you it. It's actually called Step Pass One Side Move, there it is. We'll just select it and zoom over to it. This, which, let me see, I'll just play the animation so you can get the big picture of what we're going to have to do. We might have to mess with the animations just a little bit once we put it in the other stage because the animation set for it to be way off to the side in this level but basically we're gonna try and put this somewhere in that first level and this relies this um, moving collisions and all that in subspace emissary relies on a file that's called animate I I've programmed it to be called animated objects since movable grounds seems to govern different things movable ground um, seems to govern Things that move independently of anything else, like the cloud in that level that takes you somewhere. Whereas movable objects, or rather animated objects, seem to be things that have their own animations inside their B-Res. Like this. Anyway, this GMOT file, if you open it, you'll see there's a model index and a collision index. And an info index for sounds that are played, If, but that's optional, that's not needed. The model index, that's what we're going to want to export which is, there it is, right there. So we'll just export the, the, the whole B-Res. We don't really need to export the model itself. And obviously we're gonna need um, its collision index too, which was collision 105. Export that. And the textures, let's see, let's see, let's see. To find out what textures you want to import, just go ahead and open up the model that you're taking and look at, get the textures folder open. Cloud Floor 1, 2, and Cloud Shaft 1. Let's see. Floor 1, Frame 2, Shaft 1. All right. Floor 1, Frame 2, and Shaft 1. I think that's correct. Oh, oh, we're going to need to export the animated objects, too. Um, all right, that should be it for this. That should be it. Uh, do note the model index because unless you want to go into hex and change it inside the inside the animated objects, then you, you're just going to want to keep it the same. Uh, okay, well now we can head over to the other file, I believe. I already have it open. Let's see. Yep, okay, so MISC data 5 does not have a GMOT file, which will make this really easy. I'm just going to export the whole MISC data 5 and go ahead and open it with HXD. You can use any hex editor you want, you don't have to use HXD. Alright, so basically every subspace emissary file is laid out the same way. You've got, here, let me just get rid of this real quick. You've got Oh, your header right here, which is block. That's the magic. That's the, those are the magic numbers for the header. 
this field right here says six because there were six files and this little value is unknown and this is null. So right after that we have the um, offsets which is 28C4, 2BC, 3A8, 3AC, and 4EC. Those There's six of them because there were six files. Now if we bring everything back here and you go to offset 28 because that's the first one. Offset 28 is the first file, GDOR. Offs offset C4 is the next one, which is GMOVE. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to add a new offset here, which is a little bit of a pain because it moves all the other offsets. But it it's not that hard. You just add four to all of them. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up your exported animated objects. Copy all of it, and we'll just. We'll just paste it on the bottom here. Go up and right here before G door. Let's just I don't know. Um, it's not. It's gonna be a little bit different on another hex editor, but basically we just wanna we wanna put four new bytes in. And now let's find out that last offset, th the new offset of where we paste it in. It's offset six hundred. We'll just type in six hundred and overwrite rather than insert. And now we just we got to recalculate all the old offsets. So this one, GDOR used to be 28. So let's see, just open up your calculator. You can get your calculator in programmer mode. And then all you got to do is go to hex 28 plus 4, 2C. Fairly simple. C4 plus 4, C8, 2, C, oh, no, 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 no. 2BC plus 4. Nope, I was right. 2CO. Alright. 38C. No. 38C. 3AC. 3BO. 4EC. And just just do this for each one of them. That should be it, but I'm, I'm just going to double check. The 2CO takes us to get one, 38C. Yep, I did get that one wrong. No, no, wait, no, I didn't. All right, my math was right. All right, that should be it. We have the new GMOT file in here, and if you wanted to change it to a, uh, a different model index and collision index those are these right here 7f right here that 7f translates to no 7f translates to 127 which if we remember correctly was what we export was what when we exported it it was model it was a uh, file index 127 took me a little while to figure out in this file format but thankfully they uh a lot of the subspace emissary files share the same uh, format or rather the same structure so now that we have that just go ahead and save it go ahead and close that actually just close both and replace this misc data 5 with the new misc data 5 and hopefully when we save it it will rebuild No, why? What did I do wrong? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, this is important. That's my fault. We we up we changed it so that there's seven files now. So change the uh the the block count to seven. There we go. It wasn't it wasn't checking to see if the extra file was there because it didn't know that there was another file. Now it's here, and it is one twenty seven and one oh five. That's easy. We can do that. All right. So just new, or rather, we can just import. B res model data 127 change this to model data or otherwise it'll crash the game 127 let's see we can import um, for for collisions um, there's not a thing to create them yet I'll probably work on that next before I uh, work on any other files just create a new archive file and replace that with your MISCDATA105.CALL Save right after you do that because it, it might, yeah, it, it might break. 
Okay. Let's see. Do that first then. New archive. Replace disk data five dot call. Please work. Uh, well, that, yeah, okay. Dang. Well, um, uh, just give me a few minutes to figure this out, um, and I'll cut right back in right after that. All right, guys. Uh, that was fairly stupid. Um, the, the, what I was doing wrong was basically, uh, you can't change the file index before you save it. So just new archive, replace, 105.call, then save it. Yeah, uh, this will all be a lot easier once Brawlbox officially supports all these files, including the collision ones. That's, that, that'll probably be the, uh, the biggest confusion in this aside from the hexing itself but uh now we just import the actual model it needs to be 127 let's see we can just put this right there change it to model data is it still here nope let's replace this with the new misc data 5 and let's go ahead and import those textures that we need. This one. Oh man, that's annoying. I guess we were doing them one at a time then. And now if we preview the uh, this, it's got all its textures, but it's way over there where it used to be in the other level. So to easily get there, yeah. Animations here but it's still way over here. So to fix that, um, luckily we can just, uh, let's, let's save this first so it doesn't break anything. So to fix that, we can easily just preview all models and you can see that it's way over there. Just change to that model, find it and zoom to it. All right, so in order to do this, we could just, I added this to its little Dropbox to select things. We could just copy the actual frame, go to something that we want, where somewhere close to where we want to put it. Maybe, maybe right here. Yeah, that'll be good. Copy this, change to the model, and paste it. No, there, paste it. All right, now we can fine tune things. That's really big, so let's uh, let's make that a little smaller. Whoa, whoa, okay, no, 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 that is not cool. All right, yeah, that's fine. I'll just move this upwards now. It's a little bit too far, I suppose to the left all right that's okay let's just copy this frame now because now once we select the animation it's gonna zoom way back to where it was let's go ahead and paste that back to here let's find the other keyframe that keyframe seems to be oh is that the only keyframe it is okay that's it that should be all that we need to do forgive me if i'm wrong i don't want to mess this up so I'll just uh, double check this one last time, make sure everything's in place. 127, 105, preview. Yep, okay, that all seems correct. Let's go ahead and save this. And you're gonna wanna go into stage, make a new folder called adventure if you don't already have one. And go ahead and put your uh, Go ahead and put your your saved stage that you just edited in there. And I'm going to have to inject all of this because for some reason I didn't have it set up beforehand. 
Make sure everything's there. All right, save it, and let's see if it works. Yeah, this video is kind of long, but once uh, all the kinks are worked out of the process, uh, the progress process, and the uh, and Brawlbox supports all the files, you'll easily be able to just go in, export, import, change stuff without having to do any of the hexing and all that. And these easier, these uh, tutorials will get much, much easier when that happens. Let's see subspace. I already have a save file, so you can just go ahead and you can either start a new one or do whatever you want. Uh, just going to continue on the level. The first Skyward level is the level that we modified, so let's go ahead and pick something, see if everything works out right. Stage is loading. That looks good. Let's see. And it is. It's kind of small, but it worked. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this. One thing that I did notice, though, is uh, as you just seen there, there's some strange animation glitches, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty simple. That has nothing to do with subspace emissary or any of the files or anything like that. It's just weird stuff that happens. All right. So what you just seen right there, by the way, um, n you probably know if you've played through subspace emissary, but there's times when you have to complete something, some form of action, in order to get the camera to scroll. That's another file. File two. The uh, doors here. They're their own files, and they control where you go like to this level, to this spot, all this. This right here where you're fighting people, that is its own file as well. Spawning all these people is its own thing. All of that can be edited. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, um, we did what we needed to do. And hopefully this next tutorial, I won't have to go too much in detail with the hexing or anything like that. It'll be fairly simple. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.